Hey guys, welcome to The Make Show. Welcome back for another episode with me. Um, today I wanted to talk about a show that I've been watching on HBO called Euphoria. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's been causing a lot of waves through entertainment. It's gotten a couple good reviews from people like Leonardo DiCaprio, for instance. My man Leo. Gotta love him. And I have for a very long time. Anywho. So yeah, I wanted to talk about Euphoria. It stars Zendaya, who's pretty well known, especially in our little group of people. Um, she was in Spider-Man. When I first started watching this show, I wasn't really sure what it was about. And I quickly, quickly, quickly found out as I started watching it. Um, and I fell in love. And um, I quickly found out what all the hype was about. It stars a teenage girl named Rue, who's, who's played by Zendaya. And it, um, it's pretty much, it's, it's, it's taking place after her life. It's, it's showing her life after she comes out of a drug overdose and, and how she's coping with that or not coping with that, so to speak. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was a pretty rough teenager, so this show kind of, kind of hit home a little bit, you know, um, and it's, I think it's, it's a good show to be out there. Maybe I wouldn't want my girls watching this show by any means, but it's, it's a good show, especially for probably parents of teenagers to watch, I would say. It's a good eye opener. Um, I wish that show was around when I was a teenager for my mom to watch that, to kind of just give them a glimpse that, you know, it's not always so cut and dry. It's not always, oh, well, you're, you're, you're doing drugs and, you know, you can just stop it. It's not always just so simple and it's, it's, you know, sometimes drug, drug, drugs aren't just, you know, just to go have a good time. Sometimes people are addicted and sometimes people have problems and it's not always just, just to have a good time. Sometimes there's a lot deeper issues at hand than just than just what you see on the surface and this show has so many deeper meanings to it and there's so many different character buildings and character developments in it and that's that's just one aspect of it you know just the it was a really good show I really liked it there are gripes I have with it you know but all in all as a whole I watched the whole series I watched the whole you know there was eight episodes to it I wanted to wait to watch the entire thing before I did a review on it. I was kind of hesitant whether I wanted to do like an episode by episode or just wait and do the whole thing. If I wanted to do a spoiler or non-spoiler. Um, but it was just amazing. It was amazing. My husband even watched it and he falls asleep in everything. So if he was able to stay awake during it, you know it was interesting. He falls asleep in everything. He fell asleep. We watched Endgame the other night. He fell asleep. Uh, he fell asleep in Game of Thrones. He fell asleep in... We went and saw Transformers in the theaters. He fell asleep. We saw Snow White in the theaters. He falls asleep in everything. He fell asleep in Star Wars. He falls asleep... Everything. He falls asleep. He didn't fall asleep in this. He watched it. Um, but yeah, this this was a good show. It was... It was riveting. It kept my attention. I wanted to know more. Like, I can, when does it come back on? When does it come back on? I have to see what happens next. And, you know, there was a lot of things in it that that I didn't agree with, there was a lot of, there was, you know, there was, you know, relationship violence, there, you know, there was a lot of sexuality things in it that I wasn't, you know, that were my preference, that, but I, I still loved it, I still, I loved it, you know, and it was a great, great show, and Zendaya just did an awesome job, awesome job, I'd only ever seen her in the Disney Channel, or, or Spider-Man, and this was just a crazy light to see her, and I had never seen her acting capabilities like this before, and she's just amazing, amazing. I just never knew she was capable of this, and I am just blown away by her capabilities, honestly. I, she's a great, great actor. I, I had no idea, no idea, no idea. Um. It's amazing, and it covers pretty much everything that could happen to a teenager in the teenage years in high school. It covers um, the troubles that, you know, 
homosexual kids go through or transgender kids go through you know the struggles that they go through finding someone you know to be with or not be with or you know the online dating scope or just the fact of being maybe overweight in high school and the struggles with that or being okay with yourself or being in an abusive relationship and and how that might be you know um, or drug drug addiction or depression or struggling in school or it just really hits every single thing that teenage kids go through <clears throat> it's just a really good all-around show it, it it's hits every nail on the head that a teenager is going to be going through um, it's got it, it's just phenomenal it really is um, the acting is great you know um, there's not one time that I don't believe what these what these actors are doing, what they're portraying. I feel every emotion that's on their face, every tear that's shed. I feel it. I'm I'm with their I'm right there with them. I'm feeling their pain. I'm feeling everything that they're saying to each other. I'm I'm feeling every single emotion that is on their face. The acting is just so unbelievably good. It is. Um, I haven't been this attached to a show in a minute and it's just amazing um i agree 100 percent with leonardo DiCaprio, my man i agree with him because this is this is a great this was a great great show and i'm so excited for season two um yeah it was it was just amazing there's just a whole bunch of excellent excellent actors that do a phenomenal job in here um there's beautiful beautiful um just the whole thing, the whole thing is is just beautifully done. The the cinematography is beautiful. Um, the way thing they they put things together is just very artistically shot. Uh, the music is is brilliant. Um, it's it's a very good show. It's it's um, like I said, the the final episode was a little hard to follow. Um, I want to see season two. And I want to make sure that my characters are good. Um, I, I want that closure um, because now I feel like things are kind of kind of got flipped around. But um, I want you guys to watch it. Come back and let me know, or if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Because now that I've watched the finale, I'm kind of like, okay, well, this kind of changes everything. I'm not sure. Especially now that I've scoured the internet and I'm like reading what they're saying here because um, now I'm a little confused. The anticipation is going to kill me. I don't want to have to wait forever to find out what happens. It... I don't want to have to wait forever. It's ridiculous. <laughs> ah! All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Make Show and my review on uh, Euphoria, which airs on HBO. You can probably catch it on demand because it's, um, it's done with now. But there's eight episodes in it, and it stars Zendaya, who is amazing in it. Amazing. And you should watch it because it's great. Um, but uh, I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are or night. Great day, great night, wherever you are. And I hope to see you again real soon. So come on back. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. So we'll see you next time, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.